All right, still with me, criminal defense attorneys Lauren Zimmerman and Marie Pereira. Marie, I'll start with you. Um, you know, cancel culture, what's interesting about that to me is you're always canceling something. You're canceling one side or the other. It appears in this one, um, Johnny's been canceled, but there are a lot of people out there now trying to cancel Amber and her story. Um, your thoughts on cancel culture and the role it might have played in this case? Cancel culture is real. Mm -hmm. And once there's a bandwagon to it and you get on the wrong side, it's over for you. Even I, as a DV counselor and a nurse, I pick and choose my words to try to be as objective as possible because even I've gotten low key nasty DMs from um, people who got from fake pages saying as a DB counselor, I'm being too hard on Amber. I even had one that said, you know, go back to Haiti. You have no idea what you're talking about. If you're questioning her, you're victim shaming her. You have to be very careful. But at the end of the day, truth is truth. And if a person is accusing another person of a crime, that person has to back up with independence evidence that can be corroborated. And um, it's, it's, it's a very, very tricky area to give an honest opinion on without being aided on. Yeah, it, it's tough to cancel the truth when presented with the truth. But what I worry about here, Lawrence, is um, this jury is young. Uh, mostly there's men, six men, two women. The men are mostly in their 20s and 30s. I think there's one in their 40s. There's a woman who's 20 and there's a woman who appears to be in her 40s. These are all estimates, but at the end of the day, certainly skewers young. Um, and there's been a little bit of blowback against cancel culture. Uh, people realizing that there needs to be a little different approach. I wonder if you think young folks are more susceptible to that idea of sort of pushing back against this cancel culture and how that may play a role in this case. I mean, I think it's I think it's more the young people that are part of the cancel culture that are cancel people for any little thing that may happen intentionally or a mistake. I mean, those who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. I mean, there's not a person on this earth that hasn't made a mistake in their life. Now, I'm not saying domestic violence is a mistake or raping somebody like Bill Cosby. That's not cancel culture. I mean, Bill Cosby is convicted of a crime. No, it's been overturned. Harvey Weinstein. That's not cancel culture. Those are people who are convicted of horrific crimes, right? Um, so that's a little bit of a different issue here. Here now with Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, people want to cancel her because they think she may be lying. I mean, I think companies, I, well, I believe companies have the right to hire who they want to hire and have to be concerned about reputation. But I don't think just because 3 million people signed a petition, Disney or Warner or Paramount shouldn't, you know, allow that actor to star in a movie they think they're going to do great work. Because at some point, something new happens every day and we forget about Today, this is this is a story of today, but tomorrow will be the next big story. People tend to forget. Um, I believe in second chances, you know, of course, but it just depends on what that is for. Yeah, and these companies, they write in very broad morals clauses in these contracts with these stars that allows them in any situation like this, if they feel it's going to affect the bottom line of a film, they invest millions and millions into these films, into these actors. If they think it's going to affect the bottom line, they have every right to get rid of these folks and move in a different direction. Certainly can understand that. So, you know, we'll have to see if this affects the jury in any way. Uh, hopefully they will speak to us afterward. Otherwise, we may not know. But anyway, uh, guys, stand by. It is time for us to take a quick break. Coming up, with all of the pro Depp fans online and outside the courthouse, it can seem like he is bound to win the case, right? But what would it take for Amber Heard to win the jury? We'll discuss that with our experts next. And you can catch highlights of the Depp Heard trial right here on Court TV and on our YouTube channel. All the pivotal moments that you may have missed are posted there. But right now, keep it here on Court TV.